Hey folks, welcome back. This is your first time. I'm Pam. This is Pam's Wig Adventure. I'm going to take you on my journey to learning how to wear wigs. And so we'll do wig reviews, wig try-ons, how to make them your own, all kinds of fun things like that. And I do plan to, um, the first week of every month, to sort of do like my favorites of the month before, you know, my favorite short, my favorite medium, um, my favorite color, my favorite long, and then, you know, the all out of all of those, you know, what was the actual favorite of the month. So I am gonna try to do that next week for the month of December. Um, I have a haul and I got another one today. So there'll be a quick video coming right up. I have six of them today. And it's from Beauty Nook. So if you have not shopped on Beauty Nook, I highly, highly recommend it. I have not found prices cheaper. And they have an app that you download on your phone, which I love, I'm in IT, I love apps. I would much rather go do everything in an app than to do it on a web browser. I don't know, I don't, I'm just having to sit down on my laptop um, for this channel, otherwise, I do everything on my phone, not even on my iPad, but everything on my phone. So I love it. They do Friday nights. They have a live show. They show all the wigs. They do sales on them. You got to go see it. Download the app. Join the lives. Go see Beauty Nook. Love it. So anyway, we're going to get this started. I have on my head Nola from Paula Young, and she is in Buttered Toast. And I'm going to do a... Um, sort of like an end of day summary, I think, with her. I really didn't do anything to get her ready. It, you know, I just combed her. She does have permatease, but um, I have some things that I want to share with you about her that I think you should know if you're looking to buy her. So let's get Nola off my head, and I'm going to show you the first one that we have. You know, I love the black. I love the dark. This is Harper from Henry Margot. So I am so happy and can't wait to put this one on my head. So let me see, she is in 1BH. Let me show you the little tag. Can you see it? Yep, this is Harper. So let's get Nola off my head. Ta-da! Oh, let me fix this. Wig grip. This is a Milano wig grip. And I do have the link to it down below. So if you open up the description. So let me talk about Harper really quick. So before I put her on, let me cover her cap. So she has a lace front. Okay, she has velvet ears. She has the lace front. It's not, uh, uh, maybe it is fully temple to temple. So it is kind of long. Otherwise, basic cap, open weft. She does have the extended and she does have Velcro. So that's the cap for Harper. And she is in 1BH black. So let's get her on. You know, I gotta do my shake. Gotta do my shake, shake, shake. Oh, she feels gorgeous, gorgeous. I got mostly long and then a couple mid, probably two mid and then a short. You know, I always gotta get a short. Yeah, so I like her bangs. These are pretty, they're really short, you see them? So the bang in the front says six and a half. Oh, and I wanted to show you, I have, um, I have the little pages like I do. If you watch one of my other videos, I showed you the book that I make, but I have the little pages. I just don't put the pictures on them like I do for the, um, Paula Young. Instead, I have a big book. So this is Harper, her big page. Oh, I want to show my prices. Shouldn't have done that probably too, too quick. But anyway, she has, um, bang, her bangs are six and a half. So my, from forehead to chin, I measured I was eight. 
Oh yeah, so they are. They seemed a little short. Well, she's got these are a little shorter. Yeah, but I like this. I like this much better than um, the bangs that I just had on with Nola. And this got it has a nice curl here. You see her? So Harper, I am loving. Isn't this gorgeous? That cap feels good. Not a lot of permatease. Let me feel in the back. Yeah, a little permatease. They always like. What's all the permatease in the back? Is it just so you can't see the weft? Yeah, it's all all through the back on the, these ones. Even on the Henry Margot. So Paula Young's no different. All right, let me just turn around a little bit. So you see you have nice curl, a little bit of the back, nice beachy wave, the other side. Let's see what it said about Harper. That's it. So the color is off black with a medium dark brown highlights. So I don't know if you could really see, oh yeah, you see them? You can kind of see them a little bit with the, the brown highlights. But anyway, this is Harper. I love her. I gotta have a little bit of black, a little bit of brown, a little bit of blonde, a little bit of short. All right, so that is Harper. And then the next one is a short. The next one we have is Gramano. So we have Gramano in hot hazelnut mix. And this is Ellen Villa. So this is hot hazelnut mix. I don't know why you guys like to see that, but I'll show it because everyone else does. So her part, she again, I like the curls, right? She's got beautiful curls. I like the, it's like a, look at Auburn. Does it have like a, what's the explanation of the color for Girl Mono? No, nothing really. Just says a trendy mid style with perfectly placed layers, mono part, and a temple to temple lace. So let's take a look at her cap. And these are all, I'm just doing try-ons. These are not meant to be reviews. You know, it's gonna be a little long anyway with six of them. So we've got the regular extended nape, Velcro. We have, and it's nice, you got a nice clip in there, but the velvet airs and a full mono top right in here. You see, and temple to temple lace, and then regular wefting. Not too bad. So let's see what girl mono looks like. Girl mono. Shake her up a little bit. And put her on. <laughs> How's that for a girl? This is what it looks like, all shook up, all shook up. Mm -hmm. My daddy loved Elvis Presley. He had me loving Elvis Presley. When I finally went to the mansion, when I went to Tennessee, oh my God, a grown woman and the memories that I had with my dad watching Elvis, every Elvis movie. How many girls, are, how many women out there had dads that were Elvis fans and you watched every Elvis movie with your daddy. All right, let me see if I got her on right. Yeah. So, is she supposed to have a part? Let's see. Is she supposed to have a part? I'm not super, super crazy. I think I like a little better, even like my Malibu Waves or Deirdre. Let's put a part on her and see if that works a little better. Oh yeah, that works a little better. Yeah, but she's got a little bit of permatease, not too much really. Beautiful curls though, look at these curls. Oh my God, they're gorgeous. These are gorgeous. I love the color. 
So I like this color. I know that the black is a little dark on me and I'm so white. Um, but I don't, what do you guys think of this color? Oh, this is cute. I'm liking this. And the picture looks so, look at this. Look at this picture. Gorgeous. Hot hazelnut mix. I don't have any just other description of what it says. Let me see. Yeah, it doesn't have like what the colors are in this. I just have, I just wrote down hot, hot hazelnut mix. So that's Girl Mono. GQ. And again, this is by Ellen Villa. This is, and I know Denise just did one with like six different colors. So I didn't get to watch it yet. I saw it come up on my feed. So I'm going to go watch that probably after I film this. But I'm going to, I probably, I'm going to have to do a little plan with her because I'm not that crazy about this piece right here. So, and I think I'm, I've always worn my hair in the middle, but a lot of these, um, these units, they don't really look good in the middle. I don't know. This one's cute. I like this length. I like both lengths. You know me. I like both lengths. Well, you don't know me yet, but you will if you choose to follow me. All right. So the next one we have is Chanel in Cola Swirl. And Chanel is from Tressalore. So we have Cola Swirl. And Chanel is another long one, but she's a little straighter. So let's see. Oh yeah, she's got a full mono top, but not really lace in there. She's got the full mono, but no lace front. Isn't that funny? So then the open weft in the back, little bit of ears. They're not open, they're just regular material. Uh, no extended nape. And these are, they're not Velcro. These are the um, bra ones that you pull through, not um, these are the ones more that you pull through, not the ones that you hook on, which I like a little better. And this, this cap looks a little big, so we'll see. And then the color, see if I fix her part here. You see her part there? The color, again, look at how pretty that is there. Can you see it? Cola Swirl. So it has a little bit of blonde in here. Got a little bit of dark brown. I don't know all the colors yet, but you've got a little bit of the lighter brown in there too. Did I have anything? What did I have for the color for Chanel? Nope, just cola swirl. All right, let's try her on. This one is uh, straighter. So this is um, with like the really long bangs. Did I write the measurements? Yeah, her bang. Her fringe is eight and a quarter inches. So sort of like that curtain bang. Let me get her upright. So we had Henry Margot, Ellen Villa, and then this is Tressalore. All right, so you see this? This is one of the ones where we don't know where the bang wants to go. Don't know where the bang wants to go. Let me see. Yeah, you know what? I am more of a, what is this? This is, yeah, I'm more of a right parter than a left parter. So let's just move it over a little bit and see what it does. Now, the ones that came today, I was thinking of saving and doing the unboxing with you and letting you see them, but I feel like that's going to take, there's four of them, so it's going to take even longer. Um, you know, I'm already at 15 minutes, so I don't know if you guys are staying around. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. You see? No, no real permatease up here. None at all. This is just out of the box. Shake it up a little bit. So for me, it needs a little bit of work. Um, I like the bang to be up a little bit and so it doesn't, you know, hang in my face like that. But 
definitely think I'm going to work on her this week. So you might see a video up. That's the other thing. I really need, um, as you can see, I've already gone through a lot of wigs. So that's what I did six. I did seven. I've got six here. I got four more. So just right there. Um, I really want to do reviews. I want to do um, the actual installs. Like what I have to do to make these wigs mine is what I want to really take you ladies through or men, whoever's watching. Um, you know, to really make sure to see the other side because we see, you know, we get to make, you know, you, the reviews are extremely helpful, right? They help us make decisions. But I also, um, I know that there's a lot, I know for me, there's a lot more that goes on when I wear this wig and I put it on for the day. It's not just a matter of taking it out and shaking it up and it looks great. Um, I don't know how many I have that do that. But this one's going to need a little, the, the heat brush, but it feels really good. The fibers feel really good. And the length here, let me show you the length. Let me see if we can see the length back here. I don't know if you can see. She's a little long. Yeah, she's long. Let me see what her measurements were. Uh, and again, this is Chanel. Did I say that? This is Chanel and Cola Swirl from Tressalore. Um, her fringe is eight and a quarter, her crown is 15, her nape is 14 and three quarters, and she weighs 4.8 ounces. And the one thing that I did know is it says it's 100% mode acrylic effortless, effortless fiber. Um, I don't know a lot about that, so I will when I do like a, the review or the install. I'm going to do a little research on that to see what that means for this. But... I don't know, I kind of, I like this and I think it's a little sexy, the sort of like the off the side bang, but then at the same time, I work and I'm on the computer all day, so this would not work for me. I'd, I would have to put it, let me see how it does behind the ears. Like I would have to be putting this behind my ears all day. So, not too bad. So... This one's close. I mean, I don't have, I never had the highlighting like that, but this color, the brown, this is close to my bio hair. So this is normally like what I would look like. So this one here, I'm loving. I love this. And this, this has given me everything that my bio hair didn't, where I've got, right? So I've got a little lift hair. My bio hair was so thin and so straight. And then, you know, these past year, Literally at this part here, um, I had strands. It was really like strands. Like I felt, I felt so ugly. I lost 30 pounds and I felt good about that, but I just couldn't feel good when I looked in the mirror. And uh, I, I know you guys, I hope you understand like why even I want to do this, right? And I want everybody to have fun because it's hard. I don't know, it was hard for me. Like you're a woman and you want to feel pretty and now I can feel pretty. Like I feel gorgeous in some of these. I feel sexy. I can look different. You know, it's just, I don't know. I love it. All right, let's get going because I'm taking long here. So the next one that we have is Mackenzie from Noriko. Oh, Aesthetica. Mackenzie is in Carmel Kiss from Aesthetica. I thought I had a Noriko. Um, no, the next three are, are Aesthetica. So this is Mackenzie and Carmel Kiss. I have Mackenzie and also Reeves. So I have Mackenzie and Reeves and Carmel Kiss. And then I have Finn. Finn is in Americano. So those uh, are the three that are coming up. And then I have Alyssa, the short one from Envy. So this one, not really curls. It's like a, like a beachy wave. Isn't it pretty? That's so pretty. Like, I love that. So pretty. Um, the bangs aren't, aren't too bad. Let me see something, because I thought I had something written here for Mackenzie. Um, Aesthetica, it was either Aesthetica or Noriko's. Their, um, their website was beautiful. Yeah, no, I didn't do it for Mackenzie. All right, let's put her, oh, let's look at her cap for a minute. Sorry about that. So similar, she does have lace. 
She's got basic ears, a little bit of an extended nape. Um, these are the ones with the clip. I hate these clips. Um, I don't know about you guys. These ones don't look as bad. The hooks for them seem a little better. Um, but yeah, I'm not really that crazy about those. All right, so let's try her on. Oh, I love the, I just love these waves. Love them. Give her a good shake. And you say probably thinking that they're all, they all look similar and they do. And that's why I like them. You know, it's, it's long hair, it's similar, different colors, just a little, you know, the bang and the layering is just a little different. So I get to, I get to have fun. You know, I get a little bit of, you know, I don't have to spend hours and hours doing my hair. Oh yeah, see like, you see that right there? That's the kind of lift I like. So this one's not, this might be one that I don't have to do anything to. Look at that. Yeah. I don't think I have to do anything to Mackenzie. I would probably, just to wear her tomorrow, I would probably just glue the lace down a little bit. And then I'm having a problem with the back writing up. So I may put a little bit of glue just on the back and see. Oh yeah. See, she doesn't really need anything. The bang is totally staying out of my face. You see that? So, Mackenzie's a good one. And the caramel kiss, I really like it. We've got a little bit of the blonde in there. You see it? Yeah, this is good. All right. I think I'm going to wear her tomorrow. This one's good. And the next we got is Reeves. Actually, you know what? I'm going to stop here and make this into two. So, yeah, because I think this is getting too long. So, I still got three more to go. Um, so, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Come back really quick because I'm going to have part two with the other three. So, thank you.